guys, welcome back. After trying out my first few makeup tutorials, I thought it'd be a great idea to share with you some of my favourite shortcuts to achieving a flawless look. Before I waste anybody's time, I wanted to say for the beauty fanatics out there who are keen to find out how turmeric can change your foundation colour, or even how coconut oil over your entire face and body has multiple benefits, this isn't the channel for you. If you're still interested and watching, I'm going to share with you some of my favourite hacks that are easy to follow and actually work. So you want thicker, fuller, natural looking lashes. Well, most people generally use the mascara brush horizontally, but if you want your lashes to go even further, I've got a little trick for you. So curl your lashes as you would normally and apply a coat of mascara on the top and bottom close to the lash line. Once you've done this, then add another coat of mascara, this time holding the wand vertically, not horizontally, and go back and forth, side to side. This will give you a longer looking lash. You can also repeat these steps to get an even bolder look. So you want the perfect feline flick in just 10 seconds. So lots of people struggle to get a straight line when they're applying their eyeliner. My trick is to go messy. I'm using MAC. Once you've got the liner in place, all you need to do then is wrap your index finger with a makeup wipe and just clean off the edges. And voila, you have the perfect flick. So you want the perfect brow without looking like Groucho Marx's twin sister. So you shouldn't fill in your eyebrows with the same amount of pencil all over. Instead, focus the intensity on the arch of the brow and have it fade out on the beginning and the end of your brow. To fade it out, all you need is a mascara wand, an old one preferably, and brush it out to soften the harsh lines and create a much more natural look. So you struggle to find the right colour match foundation. Well, you should test the colours on your neck, not on your face. And the reason for this is that your face, due to sun exposure and breakouts, isn't the same colour as the rest of your body. So, for you to have a natural look, what you should do is instead swipe three different colours on your neck and blend them in, and whichever one disappears is the one you should go for. So you want to cover under eye bags, but you still want the entire eye area to look bright. Well, what you should do is use a concealer that is lighter than your foundation and instead of applying it like a moon shape under your eye, you should apply it like a triangle. This will really brighten and open up the eyes. So you want to achieve a sun-kissed look, but you also want to look contoured. Well, you should never apply bronzer all over the face. Instead, you should apply bronze in the shape of a three, across your forehead, cheekbones, and under your jawline. And this will enhance your bone structure, whilst also making you look like you've just come off holiday. So you want fuller, natural looking lips. Well, you should contour your lips. Marilyn Monroe would actually use multiple different colours to create depth and give the illusion of fullness to her lips. So to create this illusion of depth, you should find your darkest lip pencil and put it on the edge of your lips. Then, using my NARS lip pencil, I'm going to focus on the corners of the mouth and use small strokes to blend in towards the centre of the lip. Then with my brightest colour, I'm going to start in the centre and blend outwards, making sure that it's all really well blended, but without going too far to the outside, which would then erase the illusion of depth that I already created. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. For more videos, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Are you sure you're ready? Like how ready? I'm very ready. Are you ready? Your hands touch mine.